So what do we do? Everybody wants to talk about more treatments, better treatments. We need more options. We have plenty of options and most of them don't involve treatment. So why is our deference to the treatments? Why is our deference to these chemicals and the acaricides and the various other things in order to keep our bees alive? good example of what happens when you don't have any food. They will cluster all the way up to the top because they're looking for something to eat. And it's also the warmest part of the colony. James Lee with James Lee's Bees here. It's been a while since we've put a recording here on the YouTubes and honestly been very busy. Lots of things going on. Work, play, bees, chores, family, hunting, all that sort of fun stuff. But thought I would check in and talk about bees for a little bit here. Today what I'm dealing with is just going through and checking some of the colonies, see if anybody's flying. It's about 45 degrees here, Southeast Michigan, December 8th. They're actually dandelions. Yes, that's right, dandelions that are still in bloom here. And um, we've had quite a bit of cold weather. It's been really cold, like sub 30, sub 20, freezing at night for a couple of weeks. Very windy, and we're starting to enter our stormy season. The bees are looking pretty decent. I've had some losses with the nucleus yard that stands to be kind of expected not wanted or invited, but definitely expected. But I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I continue to take an approach where treatment's not the first option, but the last option. But treatment free is also not quite a good description of what it is that I'm doing. And I still think that it's a treatment free approach and I'm still asking the question, how many hives do you have to have treatment free in order to be considered treatment free since there has to be some sort of a badge system in order to wear the moniker but you know how many hives do you have to treat before you're a treater right you treat one you're considered a treater so no longer accepted in any one camp my philosophy from the beginning regardless of my views on treatments and non-treatments is that we're all beekeepers the dilemma is is are you pursuing a better bee i think if you're just going with the status quo that's your druthers, but I think as a whole, the beekeeping industry by and large is starting to see a shift in the ability for beekeepers to maintain survival. Commercial operations are sustaining losses that are not necessarily sustainable. And the only reason that they're sustainable is because commercial operations are making splits, importing packages, importing bees, importing queens, bringing in stock to replace stock loss as opposed to generating stock from within their own apiaries. And it's really not going to work out for the long term. The trend has demonstrated it's not working for the long term. The trend is demonstrating that it continues to decrease in the survivability aspect of things. So what do we do? Everybody wants to talk about more treatments, better treatments. We need more options. We have plenty of options and most of them don't involve treatment. So why is our deference to the treatments? Why is our deference to these chemicals and the acaricides and the various other things in order to keep our bees alive? No, no, that's just some of the questions that kind of come into mind when I think about these things. Yeah, people typically think that the moisture kills the bees. So they try to do everything they can to remove moisture from the colony. But the lean on these colonies was a little bit off and when I fixed it from the back, rolled it forward, all this water came rolling 
out of the egg entrance here. The bees are pretty lively and there's tons of bees in this box so they're definitely doing very well but they're not dying from moisture. To the contrary they will use the moisture but this is a little bit of the excess because of the way that it was leaning. They should be just fine with the insulated roof. It's another example on the other end of the stack here or the row. The water is actually still dripping. Today is uh, what December 8th? We have dandelions in bloom outside of the colony. Now I don't see any bees foraging on any of them. Most of them just doing some cleansing flights here, but it's warm enough to fly right now. 